Hey my friend, welcome back to another episode of Finding Forest Finn's $2 million treasure. Today we're on a hunt to go find this treasure. We started at the Boiling River and then we found two possible home of Browns. One um, at the Joe Brown Trailhead. There's a cabin way back up in there that looks really sweet. Um, the second one could possibly mean grizzly bears in Tom Minor Basin. It doesn't matter which one it, it is because we are on Paradise Ranch Road right now. And we're gonna travel up Eight Mile Road and we come to Big Draw. And there's a little river, tiny, tiny little stream coming through Big Draw. And it's definitely not enough to paddle up and you would never be able to paddle up it. So. With the end ever drawing nigh, there's a possibility that that could mean that th we have to go up a draw. And this is the first draw after Joe Brown Trailhead. And this is the first draw after Tom Minor Basin. So with that in mind, we're gonna go up this draw and see if, if there's any forest access. Last week, I stumbled across a, a trailhead that was that I didn't even know existed that I can't find anywhere and it doesn't a advertise on this turnoff that there is forest service access but that doesn't mean that there isn't any it just means that it's not posted so we're going to go up there up big draw and see if we can find any forest access there that may not be talked about that forest finn himself may have known about um, but isn't advertised and that could be one deterrent that keeps people that use a Google Maps um, approach from finding the treasure. Because there's a lot of access places that give you access to, to the backcountry that may not be on Google Maps or Google Earth. And so we are gonna go uh, try to bust this myth and see if we can uh, see if we can find either forest access or is this one that we can just knock off our list and say, the treasure most likely is not up here. Um, I'm going for a deductive uh, uh, pattern here. So I'm going to try to mark this one off the list of possible places that the treasure could be. And that is the goal of the episode today. Okay, we are up uh, eight mile creek road where the first big draw is. And uh, uh, it's a private road and there is no access um, to this location. Uh, some of these roads, even though they're listed on Google Maps, aren't necessarily all public roads. So this is indeed a private road and uh, and so there is no treasure up eight mile. If that was your idea, I'm sorry folks, it will not be up there. I was taking the, uh, the picture for the thumbnail just a second ago and uh, the owner of the property pulled out of there and they were very, very blunt and short. And 
I mean, I can kind of get it, you know, especially if people try like driving up your driveway all the time and, uh, you know, they probably just, they have a piece of land in Montana and they want their piece. And, uh, so I wouldn't go up there. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I don't, they weren't like mad or anything, but I was just parked like literally on the road, not even crossing their drive. And it was very like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, um, it has a little awkward, but I uh, guess that's the first encounter like that that I've had. So, um, very, very interesting. Um, yeah, definitely not a big draw. I don't even think Finn could have made it up there with, uh, $2 million in treasure because they were hot on my trail. So I guess it is what it is. Um, not definitely not going to be up there. So, um, wherever you're searching, be respectful of, of, of individuals properties, especially like out here in Montana. People move out here because they like their space, they like their view of the mountains, and they don't want people bugging them. Um, so I, uh, I left promptly and uh, will not be returning because I am confident that the treasure is not in that location.